Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the most epic battle of the season? I recently watched One Day and um, I teared a lot because just specific moments. The characters were just... I've watched One Day, I've read the book and just this was a great rendition. Just a great attempt at a series of One Day and I was very, very carried away with the characters. I don't know why I'm starting this video like this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing drugstore slash affordable and high-end slash expensive makeup. Okay, that's basically it. On one side, I'm going to do expensive makeup. On the other side, it's going to be an affordable side. I'm excited because it's been a while since I've done something like this. And this is just one of those old school classic videos. I think I'm getting drawn to just doing stuff like this now. And it just gives me joy. Okay, so I know there are a lot of you also who still love this kind of a video because you're still a consumer you're still shopping and you want to know what's out there and especially right now when literally every second week there's a makeup brand or every second day there's a makeup brand coming out so it gets really overwhelming to pick what you want from like a store or online it's just makeup lovers are just tempted to buy everything so i want to like simplify it for you by doing videos like this like try-ons uh, first impressions battle of the makeup and just like help you pick your product now i tried to pick up really expensive bougie makeup on the high-end side and really affordable makeup on the other side i wanted to keep the affordable side from 1000 to 1200 1300 max that's affordable and then everything from 1500 and up would be high-end makeup okay so Okay, so this left side is going to be drugstore makeup and my right side is going to be high-end bougie makeup. For my high-end side, I'm taking the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer. This is so silky and luxe feeling and very expensive. But honestly, I still invest in this because I use it. I scrape the tub. That's how much I love this moisturizer. So for the affordable side, I'm going to be using the Hyphen Barrier Care Cream. I really like this cream. I do. It really does hydrate the skin the only thing is I have to take two to three pumps fully to actually get the hydration that I really want like this was one scoop and I love it but this is also not bad at all you guys know how much I like to prime my face so for my next step I'm gonna go ahead and take the Hollywood flawless filter on this side and I'm gonna put that all over my face because this is such a good product it really lets a glow from within truly never skip this step i really think it adds something to the face and on the affordable side i'm gonna be using the elf halo glow liquid filter now they're said to be dupes but this is also quite expensive like i said i tried my best to pick products that were like slightly affordable this is the best i could come up with i'm gonna put all my shade names and everything in the bottom bar okay not bad you guys not bad at all this side looks fantastic at very minimal cost already. Uh, we need to put on some pore filling primer. So for my high-end side, I'm taking the Pore Professional Hydrating Primer by Benefit. It's really good. I'm just gonna put it on half my nose and cheek. It's really good for dry skin people. You know, it blurs out the face and also really, really hydrates the skin. It's not one of those drying primers, which I like. For the affordable side, I'm taking the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, the famous, famous. Again, um, e.l.f. is, I think, mm, slightly on the middle range. I think this is like one of my favorite primers ever. For foundation, I'm going to be taking the Bougie Forever Nude Foundation by Dior. I'm in the shade 25N and I love this foundation. I have used it clearly and I just, um, it's really nice. It, it's very skin-like, it's very lightweight. It also has great coverage. I'm going to try and use different brushes for the base. You guys, you guys, look at that application. Are you kidding me? By the way, this is a Zara brush, in case you're wondering. Look at this foundation, y'all. It's just, it's skin. It's melted into the face. And on this side, can you guys guess what foundation I'm going to be using? I'm going to be battling it against the Dior foundation. It is none other than the Maybelline New York Fit Me um, Skin Tint. This is the Fresh Tint SPF 50 and Vitamin C. I'm in the shade number 5. 399 rupees for this base. I mean... I'm just saying, you know, I, I, you know, I'm saying, oh my gosh, oh my god. Can you tell what is Maybelline and what is Dior if you didn't know that I was wearing two foundations? Apart from the shade, dude, I think it's a solid skin tint. 
like there is coverage my ladies for 399 you have got to be kidding me they really need to do a good job on their shade range they like absolutely have failed on their shade range bit they have to come out with like 40 shades of this because this for 399 maybelline you're going to be sorting so many of us out who just cannot afford like a dior or like a fenty or anything like that you know not that i don't like those brands i love a high end makeup don't get me wrong but if it's an affordable base for 399 that can give me this finish i'm here i'm present i want it i'm in it so i think makeup all in all is getting so expensive and if any brand can actually like a big brand can nail the price point and the formulation we're here for you and i'm speaking on behalf of all the consumers literally cannot tell the difference literally okay excited for concealer i'm taking the one size concealer over here this is in the shade medium 1 neutral this is available on sephora i haven't used this much that's why i wanted to use this because it's slightly a more thicker consistency great i love it i really love it on the affordable side i'm going to be using the l'oreal infallible concealer one of the best drug store concealers i've come across which is full coverage this will cover your past present and future if you do if you want to mask all of them uh this is in the shade 314 beige it is such a heavy duty concealer like you can compare this to the shape tape easily the coverage on the infallible is unbeatable i'm telling you it's worth every penny or paying for the infallible because it is giving everything i need 849 rupees not bad at all the thing is i am so mad at the shade ranges of all brands available in india i'm sorry if this is offending but it is offensive to us that you come out with three shades of concealer i don't understand why there's only three shades of a base product in a country that is filled with beautiful undertones and so many skin tones like i love your product and i want more of it i want a lot of shades there has to be at least 15 to 20 concealer shades available because this is a banger concealer okay so i love you l'oreal and i love your products but you've got to give me good shades because i want people to know i'm very passionate about this you know because i feel like it's just it's no point if i am telling you i love something and somebody just cannot buy it because it's just not available in their skin tone that is really like i would be really sad if that happened to me okay so anyway moving on wherever available you must get it because okay anyway moving on so for my high end loose powder is the givenchy prisme libre powder in the shade rose literally is the best powder on the market right now and i cannot stop using it it is beautiful my girls And for the affordable side I'm taking the K Beauty loose powder and I'm going to do the same thing baby bake under my eye this is in the shade vanilla it is a really lightweight finely milled loose powder I really really think it's a good one I've been using the Prism Libre powder for so long that when I see even the slightest bunching up in the loose powder I'm like it's the loose powder when I tell you like your base looking flawless is of course in the foundation concealer but it's so is in the loose powder as well like what undertone you pick for your loose powder will make and break your makeup it will and this says vanilla but it's slightly a little discolored like on my face i can see it turn a little bit little orangey over here while this is like nice and bright even the maybelline fit me one is a good powder i've used that for years for years okay So now I'm going to set the rest of my T zone again with different uh powders. I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I'm in the shade it's is all like so badly used up. I don't know man. It's like one I think. I'm just going to lightly pat the powder onto my face. For the affordable side I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation in a powder. It is actually pretty damn good with coverage. Okay, so now we're going to do the brows. Okay? Now for the brows, you know, the high-end one will be and will always be the benefit precisely my brow pencil in the number 5. I love this brow pencil so much. I have been using it for years. You will see it in mostly every one of my YouTube videos because benefit nails their brow products and I don't know who does it better. I'm in love with this. So good. 
on the affordable side i'm going to be taking the sugar micro brow pencil this is in the shade taupe tom also a very good brow pencil i really like it good job sugar good job that was great I don't, I don't have a good drugstore brow gel, but I will make do with this. This is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. Okay, I'm going to just put that here because it's the only one I have for now. I'm not going to actually compare the two gels because it's already dried up and I don't have any other brow gel. And for the high-end side, I'm taking the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. I know I'm mixing the powder puffs, but there's literally like nothing on it. Okay, both are good. Like I said, it's the shade difference. It says vanilla, but it still is like a yellowish patch. I don't know if you can see from far. See, there's this yellow patch over here. You know, it's not the right color for me. Probably if they had like a hair or two lighter shade, I would go for that one. Uh, the formulation wise is great. But this is the right color for me. The rose from Givenchy. It's, this is everything. This looks dull. This looks bright. You can tell okay so it's only the shade the formulation wise i like k beauty okay so now we're moving on should we do eyes first i think we should do eyes first okay i've had literally i was on a struggle bus when it came to eye shadow palettes i just could not understand which drugstore palette should i use that is affordable and good and under the price range okay and i needed to match the shade on this side that i had as well so the best i could find uh, was this these two it's the Nika Eye Color Palette in 01 Night Out for affordable. And for the high-end side, it's the Pretty Grunge by Huda Beauty. That's a very massive battle right here because, guys, Huda Beauty is just without a doubt, like over and above, beyond great formulation. But again, the price is massively different. This is like, this is for 225 rupees because it's a quad. The closest I could find was a pretty grunt, which is around five grand, five thousand rupees. But um, I can get a look out of this because of the color scheme. Do you see? It's kind of similar, not really. But yeah, I think I'll get the best of both. So let's go. All right, so I'm picking up this really light brown color, and I'm gonna put that all over my eye. Right off the bat, the pigmentation on this is wow. That's a pretty good deposit of color. I think this comes closest. I'm going to be taking Liberty from the Pretty Grunge palette and I'm putting that all over my eyes. Clearly, there's a shade difference, but it's okay. Well, there's not many options to choose from, so I'm going to take the next best thing. I'm picking up that dark brown shade and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eye. For 225 rupees, not bad. I'm going to pick up the shade Fearless and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Outer corner, blend, blend, blend. Now, obviously, you guys, I'm going to be telling you if it's worth the price, okay? If it's worth 5,000, if it's worth 225, I'm not going to pit it against each other because it does not make sense pitting Huda Beauty against like a quad, which is for 200 bucks. It is just not fair, okay? It should not even be standing together uh, because it's not a fair comparison. It is not. The formulations are different. Uh, the ingredients are different. Everything changes when the price point changes. All right, now the next best thing I have is a black color, okay? Uh, but before that, I just, I'm going to put on some kajal, actually, some kajal. I'm going to make this a really nice smoky eye look. On the high end side, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Rockin' Cold Kajal. This is the bedroom black and I'm going to put that in my waterline. I'm picking up the shade Renegade and I'm putting that over top of the Kajal. It's a really good black. I'm just going to take my finger and just... I want it to be smudgy. Okay, and nothing better than your finger to do this for you. Just like how you like slept with makeup. On the affordable side, I'm taking the Nika Black Magic Kajal. Yikes. <laughs> that's it. There's no shade. That's just, that's just, yeah. Black Magic. Okay. Oh, that's smooth, baby. Impressed, honey. I'm going to pick up that black shade and smudge it out. I'm sorry, I love this side better. Why? Actually, this side is better. I really like the Nika Black Magic Kajal. Now, I don't know if it smudges and lasts a long time. I will know by the end of the video if it's like watered down my eyes. But this is so much more like pigmented than this because of the Kajal. I, I don't love the Charlotte Tilbury Kajal. I'll be honest with you. Even generally, I've not loved it the most. There are other Kajals that do a better job. 
I can already see gaps in my waterline. I don't know if I can show it to you. Like I can already see some gaps. Can you see this fleshy part? And this has no gaps because it is lined so beautifully. Taking this off is gonna be fun. Okay, this is a kajal and not a liner and I'm aware of that. Again, take your finger, smudgy, smudgy, smudgy. Okay, that's the trick to just distressed smoky eyes. Don't be bothered a lot about perfection here because look at this. How dreamy is that eye? Like, are you kidding? Do you all put kajal on your lid or is it just meant for kajal? This is such a good way of like smoking your liner. Like I've been loving eyes like this. Like it's so beautiful. Gonna be taking the black shadow and just going on top to kind of like set the smudgy. Okay, so that is basically it. This is the pretty grunge side and this is the drugstore side. I think both of them look pretty damn great. I mean, are you kidding? 200 bucks and 5,000 bucks. I literally said you can't compare the two, but the outcome was the same. Obviously, this has more buttery shadows and this has slightly less buttery shadows, but the outcome, are you kidding me? You can't tell, to be very honest. So again, it's all about technique. It's how you use your um, shadows and just like how much you deposit, how you blend it out, everything matters, okay? So there you go. For the high-end side, I'm taking the Pat McGrath Mascara. This is the Dark Star Mascara in Extreme Black. That's beautiful. When it comes to mascaras, honestly, like, there are amazing drugstore mascaras out there. Maybelline, L'Oreal. There are some great options, just generally. Uh, you don't have to spend, like, 3,000 rupees for a mascara. I'm just saying. It's one of those things where you can go a little bit affordable and you will get an amazing outcome anyway for my affordable side i'm going to be taking my recent favorite this is the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara oh i've really fallen in love with l'oreal lash paradise dude i just have you know okay this is more like fluttery flirty and just like all over the place it's dispersed and this is very concentrated and like lengthening um so you can see it's like slightly spidery but in a good way not like clumpily clumpily okay girlies now comes complexion i don't know why i'm being like this for my cream bronzer on the high end side i'm taking the fenty beauty cream bronzer this is the freestyle cream bronzer in cheeks out and it's a gorgeous one on this side i did not have many cream bronzers but i do have the flossy cosmetics with me and it is not uh, really affordable i think it's like 1200 or something i don't know but it comes with a blush okay this is a little cheating happening here because it does come with a blush and that's why it's um expensive so please discount the blush price you get two products so that's something you have to keep in mind okay but this is the only one i had yeah this is the flossy cosmetics i don't think so and chocolate drizzle i'm gonna be using chocolate drizzle okay this is more on the like warmer side two different undertones and how this is slightly cool tone and this is extremely warm tone for the high-end side, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This is the Matte Beauty Blush Wand. My current obsession. I absolutely love it. I have lots of obsessions with blushes, so you'll just keep hearing me say that. Oh, it's to die for. I use this all the time. It's got this slight purpley undertone, which I love. So gorgeous. Okay, and for this side, I chose the K-Beauty Blush. It's not a dupes video. It's just... An affordable video this is in sweetheart pink okay it's the creme blush and i really like this pink and this formula in general is very cool it's got like a moussey formulation i'm just gonna apply this with my finger and then blend it out oh i miss these how amazing these blushes are oh my gosh that's fantastic you guys do not sleep on the k blushes hello i'm sorry but Things are looking up and they're looking great, you guys. Now for powder bronzer, I chose the Hermes bronzer simply because it's high-end and bougie. This is in uh, the shade Sahara and I genuinely have been using this every day. It smells amazing and it is like the perfect undertone. I love this. I've been wearing it. I wore it to the recent Gucci event and I wore it. I'm wearing it all the time. I love it, but it's Hermes, okay? It's a bit much for bronzer, but honestly, it is beautiful. I cannot stop using this bronzer. And for the affordable side, I'm going to be taking the huge Makeup Revolution bronzer. And this is in the shade... I really don't know. I, I, I couldn't tell. It's just in the shade Bronzer 1 Cool. That's what it says. Okay, so now for powder blush, 
I didn't really need all these products. I was just I just had it and I was like, I'm going to use them all. The so four powder blushes on the high end side, I'm taking the Pat McGrath blush in the shade um, Divine Blush Divine Rose. OK, also a blush I've been using lots lately. Stunning. On the affordable side, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade Proud. This is more matted out on the Fit Me side and the Pat McGrath is more glowy. Uh, even though it's a matte blush, it's not that heavily matty and chalky and the Fit Me is slightly matte. I'm going to be taking the Dior highlighter. This is the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer in 01 Nude Glow. I just forgot about highlighters in general because <laughs> I stopped using them for good reason. For the affordable side, I'm taking the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. I really like this. This is in the shade Molten Gold. Oldie but a goodie. Just be right back, guys. Okay, when it comes to lips, another challenging bit for the drugstore is finding the right lip liner. Undertone of lip liners are really, really bad and which one was really difficult to choose. I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in the shade Terracotta first. And then on the affordable side, the closest I could come to was the lip pencil. This, this is the NYX lip pencil in the shade uh, New Truffle and it's on Amazon um, and it's for 1200 bucks. Hold on, this is a fab lip pencil. What? Okay, this is going in my like drawer. Wow, I've had this all this while. Okay, so for lipstick, again, it's going to be a little challenging, but I'm going to take these two. Okay, not very similar, but still the best I could find. On the high-end side, I'm taking the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Sellout. It's literally in my top three lipsticks of all time. And on the affordable side, I'm taking the House of Makeup Dawn to Dawn Super Stale Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cinnamon Blush. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, I'm definitely blending it out because this looks silly, uh, but honestly, the formulation is great. I love the Dawn to Dawn liquid lipstick in general. It's fabulous. Um, and this side is great too. I'm just going to blend it out. So uh, let me do the glosses instead and we'll see. So for glosses, I have a clear winner on the drugstore side, which I'm going to reveal. For the high-end side, I'm using the Gloss Bomb by Fenty Beauty in Champ Stamp Fantasy. So good. It's also a very tasty. You know what I'm saying? And for the drugstore side, the winner is hands down the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Do not sleep on these glosses. If you're a glossy gal or even if you're not, this is your gloss, dude. I'm telling you, I have purchased number of glosses from you and I finished the tube. This is the shade 004 Silk also, which I purchased because I get a lot of PR, you guys. But when I purchase something, you know it's awesome. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. If you saw the glosses up close, would you be able to tell what's Fenty and what's Maybelline? I'm telling you. Okay, last step is setting spray and we end this video. On the high-end side, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It is literally such a good setting spray. So I don't have a drugstore brand for my setting spray on the affordable side. So I'm going to be using the MAC Fix Plus in the mini size. Okay, all we want is affordable. It's still 1300 bucks. It crosses my budget limit for the affordable side, but there is another mini you can get, which is for 850 bucks. But this is like very, very small. Which side do you think, friend? Because this is amazing, right? This is, it's proof that you don't need to break your bank, okay? You don't need to go all out and buy stupid expensive makeup if you can't afford it. Okay, let's go close and analyze. I really think the eyes are just so sultry, by the way. I really love my eyeshadow look, but it did such a good job, like fantastic kajal work. Now that, now that I'm looking at it, the kajal has not budged at all. And over here, the kajal has budged. Honestly, both the sides are fantastic. My skin looks really great on the drugstore side, like super flawless, super great. And even on this side, it looks so fantastic. I honestly can't tell and it just goes to show you that you do not have to waste a lot of money or you don't need everything that beauty gurus have or influencers have. You don't have to have that. As long as you have products that work for you, you can nail the look. You can get a full-blown smoky eye with the glossiest, juiciest lip on a budget. 
or if you have this insane want and love for makeup and you want to go all out there's also products for you which will give you an equal result as well i honestly can't pick i love both the size i'm very pleasantly surprised actually it is not a disaster it looks so good it looks like one um and honestly i don't care i just love makeup in general it's like you know when you're a food lover you just love food it does not matter where it's from chart from taj and chart from the road honestly the road is better but you know what i mean like chart is chart you just love food as long as the lasting power and the formulation is fantastic of a product that's what i care about okay not the price tag or not the branding all the shades and everything will be linked down below in case you guys want to check the products out let me know which one was your favorite side in general and what product did you enjoy the most by the way there are some other areas you can find me number one is instagram of course my public page account then i have a channels uh, tab on instagram so you can join me there it's a very intimate group of people i communicate with so in there i'm also now available on whatsapp channels so you can um, come on to my whatsapp and uh, we chat almost every other day also you can sign up for my newsletter which i'm doing every sunday you will get a newsletter in your inbox so you will hear from mars every sunday it's called open diaries i will leave the link below you can just subscribe to the email you have to confirm your email and after that you'll get a welcome email okay and then every sunday you're going to get a mail from me it's going to be very different from beauty i'm going to be putting things like what is my favorite food lately what i've been enjoying what podcast am i listening to what have i learned lately what's going on in my mind a picture of abby and me you're going to get like special access it's just very personal to you and me and whoever subscribes to my newsletter will get uh, just special perks in general which other people won't because this is special it's my intimate community so i will leave everything down below if you want to join me please do if you've stayed so far congratulations you're now a part of a giveaway so comment down below check the description box for the rules and enter the giveaway in the comment section on youtube okay so i will be going through your comment section under this video and not on any other platform okay so please make sure that you remember that this is for my youtube fam it's been a long time or i don't even remember the last time i did a giveaway on youtube i'm going to be choosing two people to win an assortment of makeup products what they are is i have the precisely my brow pencil the huda beauty eyeshadow palette and the bobby brown mascara for one person and then i have fix plus i have the maybelline uh, vinyl lipstick and i have the nika palette for another winner okay so please make sure you are checking your description box and entering the giveaway down below this is only available for people in india i'm so sorry it's not worldwide but please apply and stay tuned for more videos and more hidden giveaways thank you so much for watching i love you and i will see you guys Oh, oh, oh.